Hey people, this is Christopher Sardi with another comic book review. Today we are at Guardians of the Galaxy number five. Number five, that's what they do in a local sports radio show of mine. Number four, that's just what it sounded like to me. So the focus here, uh, what I want to do, because I don't want to really get into spoilers, and that cover is not a spoiler. I don't even see each other in this book, but it is a cool cover. Give them that. What, what I want to do on the focus here is is really just talk about the, the like the pluses of minuses and minuses of you know picking up these books monthly and getting only pieces of the story. And I'll talk about that a lot because you'll see me also review full, you know, graphic novels where I get all, you know, five or six issues in a row, or if it's a hardcover, 10 to 12 issues, right? So I've been a little bit hard on this book. You, you know, if, when you're reading it serialized and you're reading it monthly and you're dropping, you know, you're dropping the four bucks a book kind of thing, you, you really want to be, to have some level of fulfillment for that. And Guardians of the Galaxy, while it wasn't a bad book, you know, issue number two, three, maybe four, maybe it was three and four, who knows, whatever it was, it just felt slow, you know, it felt like it was moving slow. And now that I, I've read this, you know, and I've gotten a little payoff, this is the pen ultimate issue for the first arc, I'm, I'm excited and I sort of get what Donny Cates was doing and, and I'm more okay with it. So when I review this arc, and I'm going to start doing that on, you know, Mondays and Tuesdays. I'll either do full arcs and, and or trade paperbacks, depending what I'm reading. When I review this full arc, I, I think it's going to come out a lot better. You know, there's still one issue to go in the arc. But I just remember being, like, really disappointed, you know, coming home from New Comic Book Day in, in April, in February, in March, whatever the months were, and reading it and being like, I'm not sure what's going on. We're just sort of moving slow. But we got somewhere. So maybe Donny Cates is, you know, he wrote this like he would have written a novel. He wrote this first arc. Like it's, it's, it's written like a novel. It's got its beginning, middle, and end. Maybe that's the way you should write it. There's another part of me that says, hey, you know, we're buying this serialized. You know, we're not buying them all together. There needs to be some kind of excitement or else I, I might drop the book. And I think that's a danger in at least the style he writes here. I think that's a, I think that he's doing that a little bit in Venom too, where we had you know a lot of action and some big stuff going on early on, but now there's a little bit of of setup for something big coming. But you know that's four or five months of this what feels more like setup to me for for Carnage Unleashed or whatever it's called. I forget what it's called now, and that's happening here. But this book this book gave me payoff. This book made me excited to read number six and and to see what happens in number six that will continue, you know, have echoes throughout the cosmic, the Marvel cosmic universe, which uh, at least last I heard, Donny Cates was basically the showrunner of. So I finally got it, you know, we got the we got the turn, we got the excitement. I'm just not sure if that's the way to go in a comic book. Maybe if you stay with it, maybe we should all just stay through an arc, stay through arcs, so, you know, one through five, one through six, and not quit at three, um, but maybe, we only have so much money and it's the writer's responsibility to make every issue very exciting, especially if you're buying them in singles. Anyway, that's my review. I do these videos to talk about comics and this is me starting the conversation. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought in those comments.